Hello, class. Welcome to Flourish Nursing Academy. I am Tudor Godwin. We are discussing periodontal disease. Periodontal diseases are chronic, irreversible inflammatory conditions affecting the supporting structures of the teeth. The gingiva, periodontal ligament, cementum, and alveolar bone that can lead to tooth mobility and tooth loss. Gingivitis is acute inflammation limited to the gingiva and is reversible. Causes, primary cause, accumulation and maturation of dental plaque, a polymicrobial biofilm on tooth surfaces. Microbial contributors, complex, dysbiotic subgingival community often enriched with anaerobic gram-negative species. Keystone pathogens, e.g., P. gingivalis, can alter host response and promote dysbiosis even at low numbers. Secondary contributors, poor oral hygiene, calculus, mineralized plaque, restorations that retain plaque, and local anatomical factors. Risk factors, modifiable and non-modifiable. Modifiable, poor oral hygiene, plaque control. Cigarette smoking and tobacco use, strong independent risk, poorly controlled diabetes mellitus, stress, poor nutrition, obesity, certain medications that increase plaque retention or gingival overgrowth, phenytoin, cyclosporine, some calcium channel blockers, infrequent dental care, non-modifiable, age, prevalence increases with age, Genetic predisposition, immune response genes, prior history of periodontitis, other important associations, pregnancy, hormonal changes, osteoporosis, possible bone fragility, immunosuppression, HIV, chemotherapy, pathophysiology, overview stepwise. 1. Plaque dot biofilm formation, early colonizers attached to the pellicle. Biofilm matures, creating an anaerobic subgingival niche. 2. Microbial dysbiosis and virulence. Shift from symbiotic to dysbiotic community. Production of proteases, gingipanes, and other virulence factors that damage tissue and modulate immunity. 3. Innate immune activation. Epithelial cells, neutrophils, and macrophages Detect bacteria via TLR's complement. Release cytokines, IL-1V, TNFA, IL-6, reactive oxygen species, ROS, and proteases. Neutrophils attempt to contain infection, but excessive dysfunctional neutrophil activity contributes to tissue injury. 4. Adaptive immune response and amplification, T-cells, TH1, TH17, and B cells, plasma cells infiltrate. B T cells produce cytokines. 5. Chronicity and episodic progression. Disease progresses in bursts of activity. Systemic and local risk factors modulate severity and rate. Clinical manifestations, gingivitis, red swollen gingiva, bleeding on probing, tenderness, halitosis, no attachment loss or bone loss. Periodontitis. Signs. Gingival inflammation. Persistent bleeding on probing. Increased probing. Depths. 4 mm. Clinical attachment loss. CAL. Pocket formation. Gingival recession. Tooth mobility. Drifting of teeth. Suppuration. PUS from pockets. Halitosis. Symptoms may be mild or absent early. Patients may present with loose teeth, changes in bite, pain, or persistent bad taste, discharge in advanced disease. Acute presentations. Periodontal abscess. Localized swelling, severe pain, pus, and fever are possible. Necrotizing periodontal diseases, e.g., necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis, periodontitis, present with painful ulceration, grayish pseudomembrane, bleeding, and fetid breath, more common in immunocompromised, stressed patients. 
Diagnostic Investigation History Symptoms Oral Hygiene Practices Systemic Medical History Diabetes Smoking Medications Family History Clinical Oral Examination and Periodontal Charting Probing Pocket Depth PPD at 6 sites per tooth Clinical Attachment Level CAL Measurement most important for diagnosing periodontitis. Bleeding on probing, BOP, a marker of inflammation. Tooth mobility, furcation involvement, pus on probing, and gingival recession. Radiographic imaging, periapical and bite wing radiographs for localized bone loss. Panoramic radiograph for full arch overview. Radiographs show horizontal or vertical alveolar bone loss and help stage severity. Laboratory and adjunctive tests. Selective. Microbiological tests, culture, DNA probes, rarely routine, used in refractory cases or to guide therapy. Biomarkers in gingival cravicular fluid, GCF, or saliva, e.g. MMP8. IL-1V, are investigational adjunctive in some settings. Nursing management, assessment and priorities, assess oral status. Gingival color, swelling, bleeding on probing, pocketing, tooth mobility, pain, discharge, halitosis, and lymphadenopathy. Document baseline and changes. Assess systemic risk factors. Diabetes control, smoking, immunosuppression, medications, steroids, phenytoin, cyclosporin, calcium channel blockers, pregnancy. Prioritize airway, bleeding, infection, uncontrolled oral bleeding, spreading cellulitis, fever, trismus, or airway compromise. Bach emergency. Notify provider, R transfer. Monitor for systemic signs of infection, fever, tachycardia, Cellulitis, sepsis, escalate promptly. Pre-procedure preparation, verify allergies, especially penicillin, tetracyclines, current anticoagulant, antiplatelet therapy, medical conditions requiring prophylactic antibiotics, e.g. certain cardiac conditions. Communicate with the dental team physician about holding anticoagulants per protocol. Post-procedure monitoring. Bleeding control, vital signs, pain level, ability to swallow, nausea, vomiting, anesthesia effects, and adherence to post-op instructions. Wound care. Follow orders for rinses, e.g. chlorhexidine, saltwater rinses, and avoid spitting using straws if bleeding risk. Pain management. Assess pain and implement non-pharmacologic plus pharmacologic measures per orders. Evaluate analgesic effectiveness and side effects. Diabetes care. Emphasize glycemic control to promote healing. Monitor glucose more closely around dental procedures or infections. Smoking cessation. Assess readiness. Provide brief counseling and referrals. Smoking impairs healing and increases risk of recurrence. Nursing interventions and patient teaching, high yield, oral hygiene instruction, soft bristled toothbrush, brush twice daily using the gentle bass technique, 45 degrees toward the gum line, interdental cleaning daily with floss or interdental brushes, show technique. Avoid vigorous rinsing for 24 hours after surgery. Resume gentle rinses as instructed. Antiseptic rinses. Chlorhexidine, 0.12%. Usually rinse 15 ml for 30 seconds twice daily as directed. Warn about tooth staining and altered taste. Diet activity. Soft diet for 24-48 hours after surgery. Avoid smoking, alcohol, and strenuous activity that may increase bleeding. Medication adherence. Complete full antibiotic course if prescribed. Review dosing schedule, side effects, and interactions. Signs. 
to report increasing pain, fever, spreading swelling, persistent bleeding, pus, discharge, difficulty breathing, or swallowing. Follow-up. Reinforce the importance of dental hygiene visits every three to six months for maintenance, and medical follow-up if systemic disease, e.g. diabetes. Documentation. Mouth assessment, treatments given, patient education, tolerance, and any complications. Pharmacologic management. General principle, mechanical debridement, scaling, root planing, is primary therapy. Medications are adjuncts in selected cases. Antiseptics, chlorhexidine gluconate, 0.12% rinse, adjunct for short-term use after procedures or for poor oral hygiene. Side effects, tooth staining, taste changes, mucosal irritation. Systemic antibiotics, used selectively, acute infection, aggressive periodontitis, systemic involvement, or as an adjunct to therapy. Common choices, amoxicillin, often combined with metronidazole, metronidazole, azithromycin, and doxycycline. Choice depends on the clinical scenario and allergy. Allergy considerations. If penicillin allergic, alternatives include azithromycin or doxycycline. Note, doxycycline contraindicated in pregnancy, children. Nursing points. Assess allergy history, renal, hepatic function, educate to complete full course, monitor for side effects, GI upset, yeast infections, C. difficile risk. Local antimicrobials, delivered into periodontal pockets. Examples. Chlorhexidine chip, doxycycline gel, adjunct to scaling root planing. Nursing. Reinforce follow-up and oral hygiene. These are dental administered. Host modulation therapy. Subantimicrobial dose doxycycline, SDD, e.g. 20 mimomodimers, can reduce MMP activity and slow tissue breakdown. Nursing cautions. Contraindicated in pregnancy, children. Watch for photosensitivity and GI upset. Analgesics. Anti-inflammatories. Acetaminophen or NSAIDs, ibuprofen for post-procedure pain. Assess for contraindications. Liver disease, acetaminophen, GI bleeding anticoagulants, NSAIDs. Avoid NSAIDs if high bleeding risk unless approved by provider. Antifungals, topical nystatin or meconazole for oral candidiasis, systemic fluconazole for severe cases. Nursing. Observe for response and oral thrush in patients on antibiotics or inhaled steroids. Drug interactions and special populations. Tetracyclines, doxycycline, cause tooth discoloration in children and are contraindicated in pregnancy. Chlorhexidine may inactivate some toothpaste if used immediately after brushing. Advise to wait or rinse after brushing. Antibiotic stewardship. Antibiotics are not first line for chronic periodontitis without signs of active infection or systemic involvement. Monitoring. Monitor for allergic reactions, rash, anaphylaxis, GI upset, secondary fungal infections and effectiveness, reduced swelling, bleeding, pocket depth on follow-up. For long-term or repeated antibiotic use, monitor for C. difficile symptoms. Complications Local oral complications Progressive attachment and bone loss Tooth mobility and tooth loss Periodontal abscesses and cellulitis Difficulty chewing and altered occlusion